third and final heat race in the 125-250 weight division on the point, racing out of Grants Pass, Oregon. That is going to be Parker Mockridge of the 321. Two Mockridges outside. Racing out of Sioux Falls, uh, South Dakota, Brogan Carter. And the number 88 inside row number two here from Camden, South Carolina. That is going to be Abby Gunter in the 10. And uh, out of Kewaskum, Wisconsin, the UFO, Katie Yeager. Inside of row number three, Carter Beatty going to be the number seven. Racing out of Concord, North Carolina, and starting to the outside. From just down the road in Elk Mound of Brody Conkey in eight. Peyton Reaver going to be all by himself in seven in the number nine. So again, Parker Mockridge and Rogan Carter, row number one, row number two, Abby Gunter and Katie Yeager. Row number three is Carter Beatty and Brody Conkey, row number four, Peyton Reaver. So we're going to get some heat in these engines and then line them up two by two and take off for 10 laps, final heat race. In the 125-250 division. Setting the lineups for tomorrow night's nice Rowdy Nationals feature. Okay. Kane Yeager, so Yeager's. Well, the Angers Knights going to come to a close. So where there was seven, there now is six. Parker, Mockridge, Broken, Carter, Abby, Gunter, Carter, Beatty. No, check that. Brody Conkey is going to advance up into the outside of row number two. Carter, Beatty will go to the inside. We're going to get this field lined up, the official lineup ruled. Here we go. Parker Mockridge leading the charge after one. Brogan Carter in second. Abby Gunter in third. Brody Conkey in fourth. Then Carter Beatty. Now to go to your first five after two laps. It's still Parker Mockridge. And we got a bunch spun out over in turn four. So, Abby Gunter and Carter Beatty, they go around over in turn number four. That will cause the caution lights and flag to be displayed. And this is the final 125-250 heat race. Determining the lineups for tomorrow night's feature events in the Rowdy Nationals. Powered by Auto Value. Caution lights are on. Here we go, back to green. Mockridge, Carter, Beatty, your first three. Carter, Beatty got a little loose coming on to turn number four. Abby Gunter did the exact same thing. Gunter's cart gonna come to a stop. Caution gonna be displayed on lap two of 10. This final heat race in the 125-250 wing division lineups. We're back to green. Here we go. Mockridge. Carter. Beatty, Conkey, and Gunter, your first five. Trouble on the 3 2 1 of Mockridge. Goes around over in turn number four and collects Carter Beatty. Ladies and gentlemen, that's the conclusion of this heat race. We're going to do a little track prep over in turn number four. It's developing a little bit of character. And we want to make sure that the Micros are able to put on a good show. Kaki gets. In with another cart over in turn number four, lap three of 10. 
Parker Bachrich in second, Carter Beattie in third, Donkey in fourth, Reamer in fifth. Caution lights are out, with back to green. Bachrich again throws a little bit of an elbow at the number 18 of Carter. Carter gonna now try and answer back, and it does so. And they both spin out over in turn number four. Here we go. Carter Beatty with a bunch of real estate between himself and the rest of the field. Mockridge and going to work on Brody Conkey as they come down to the backstretch. Mockridge moves into second place. Now it's a sight set on your leader, Carter Beatty. And another couple of cars got turned around over in turn number four. That is going to be Mockridge in the 3 2 1. And Brogan Carter in the 88. Three car shootout. Carter Beatty. Brogan Carter Brody Conkey. That is our field. We're working on lap seven of ten. White flag this time by Beatty Carter Cocky. So coming back in the third, unofficially Brody Conkey back in second. Brogan Carter unofficially, but officially bringing back the heat win. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise. He's here from Concord, North Carolina, number seven, Carter Beatty. Freight is the backbone of the country. And as long as people need goods, they're gonna need somebody to get it to them. My name is Matt Ball with QualityFreightRate.com, powered by T-Force Worldwide. We provide LTL, truckload, and expedited freight services across this country. If your freight weighs over 120 pounds going over 120 miles, that's where my shipping rates kick in. We help companies ship easier for less. With our system, our customers are able to quote and book shipments with ease 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. If you're having trouble with damages, lost freight, claims of any sort, we can help you with our experience, solve the problem, tell you why it's happening and what you should do to prevent it in the future. Me and my team have been together for over 20 years. We know this industry. We can help all size business, big or small, we love them all. But we have a special spot for small business. Small businesses are pillars in the community. Low rates are critical for a small business because the margins are generally pretty small. They need to have competitive rates. They can't be getting gouged or they lose the sale. Freight is simple. People make it difficult. We work as consultants in the industry, so it doesn't matter what your problem is, we'll solve it. We educate the customers, we solve problems, and we lower their shipping rates. And that's what I've been doing for 20 plus years.